Twingate is a remote access solution built on a zero trust architecture. Twingate allows you to replace your VPNs and securely access your private networks, whether they're in the cloud, on-prem, or at home. Hi everyone, welcome to the weekly Twingate Office Hours, where we look at various security challenges and how Twingate can help you solve them. My name is Shree, and I work as a DevOps content manager here at Twingate. Hi everyone, my name is Emil, and I'm the principal product specialist here at Twingate. So we had some customers ask us how to deploy Twingate if they're only running Windows. Well, we would normally tell customers that they would need to deploy a virtual machine. That can be quite time consuming and quite fiddly. So we actually have a package that can set up a Twingate connector on Windows for you. Okay. And if a customer deploys the Twingate connectors on Windows, what can they do with them? You can access any of the services that are on your local network. So if you're running a Plex or file server somewhere, you can access those. You can also access file shares on the Windows machine itself, and you can access remote desktop. Okay, got it. Okay, Emerald, uh, why don't you take us through a demo of setting up Twingate on Windows? Of course. Let's take a look at what we're gonna do today. I have here a diagram showing what my home network looks like. I have a couple of Windows servers, my Mac laptop, and it's all within typical home network. I have a wireless modem that connects out to the internet. The objective for today's session is for me to be able to remote desktop into one of my Windows servers after having installed the Twingate connector, which will allow me to provide secure access from my iPhone via remote desktop. So how do we get started with this? Let's switch over to the Windows Server. So here we are on my Windows machine. The first thing I'm gonna to need to check is that my network is a private network. So to do that, I click on the icon in the bottom right, click here, then status, and I can see that it is a private network. It's really important that it is, because if it's not a private network, I won't be able to access the resources on it and the virtual machine we're going to deploy will not work. The next thing to call out is this needs to be a Windows 10 or Windows 11 Pro or Enterprise Edition operating system because we need something called Microsoft Hyper-V and that is only available on those versions of the operating system. And also you will need a relatively recent piece of hardware that supports virtualization. So what we're going to do is install something called Multipass. It's by the makers of Ubuntu, and it'll install a Linux virtual machine in the background running on this Windows system. And this virtual machine will run our connector software. There's a lot of steps normally involved, but we actually use a system called Chocolatey that will automate most of these steps. If you're not familiar with um, Chocolatey, it is a package manager for Windows that allows you to install applications very, very easily, usually just by typing a one-click one command. So the first thing I'm gonna to need to do is install Chocolatey. If you already have it installed and you're familiar with it, you can skip this step. But if I click on install, scroll down, the instructions are here. What I'm gonna do is just copy this. I'm gonna right-click on my Windows icon, run an administrative PowerShell terminal, and paste the chocolatey install command. This is going to install chocolatey on my system. And once that is done, the only command I need to execute next is choco install twingate hyphen connector. This will download the twingate package. It will make sure that multipass is installed on the machine, <clears throat> set up Hyper-V if required. Just need to click yes to confirm. And then as part of the install step, you can see it's downloading Multipass. It's going to want some information about my Twingate account. So let's go and look at my Twingate account. It's over here. What I'm going to do is add a remote network, uh, some premises, and I'll call it home. Once I've done that, you can see there's two connectors that have been set up, and we're going to have to deploy at least one of them. 
So you can see MultiPass is still installing. What I'll do is I'll pick one of the connectors, I'll click on Deploy. What I actually need from here is the access token and refresh token. So I'll click on Generate Tokens. It will ask me to re-authenticate, which I shall now do. And once that's done, you can see my access token and refresh token are available. So let's go see if the connector is installed. I need to confirm this one. Okay, so it's asking me for the connector name. I can type anything I want here, but I am going to put in uh, the name of the connector here. going to want the access token. The easiest way to get it is to click on this copy token button. See that my access token is copied to the clipboard and then right click into my PowerShell terminal. I can do the same for my refresh token. And the last thing is I need to put in my account URL. I can actually just put in my account name, which is uh, in my case, just Emerald. So I'll just type that in. And then what will happen is in the background, we'll provision a virtual machine, set it up in router pass and start booting it up. So this process may take a few minutes. If it's the first time you're running it, it has to download um, an image onto your machine. It could take, you know, maybe five or 10 minutes or so. You do get progress along the way. And as soon as the connector comes online, we should see these two connector lights in the admin console go green. There we are. Okay. Now we can see that this is green and I can see the host name of my Windows box is right here, MAV Win 001. What I'm going to do next is just go to my network and actually add this host as a resource. By default, when you deploy a TwinGate connector, there are no resources that you can access. So I'm just going to put here Windows host, and I'm going to put in the name of my Windows host. If I wanted to, I could add port restrictions. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to click Add Resource. And I'll make it available to everyone because it is my personal account and I'm the only one here. Let's take a quick look on the iPhone. What I've done is disconnected from the Wi-Fi. So I'm effectively using my cellular connection and I'm going to log into the TwinGate app with my TwinGate account. And once I've done that, I can see my resources available to me. So now I can run any remote desktop client. Uh, I use one called RD client. And I can see I've pre-saved my host. So I'm just going to click on it. And if I enter my credentials, you can see that I've remote desktop in to my Windows machine. In fact, I can add any resource on my local network in TwinGate and access it via this connector that we've deployed. And it's not just remote desktop, but also file shares and any other network services that I might be running. Thanks again, everyone, for joining us this week. Hopefully you found today's show useful. Please feel free to shoot over any follow-up questions to us or any other topics you would like to have addressed in future shows. See you next week. Thank you and see you next week.